Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher on YouTube. Today is 20th of July 2017. And today we are going to look at a more longer term perspective again at gold price. And we are going to look at this perspective based on the relationship between interest rates and the gold price. More specifically for interest rates we are going to look at Fed funds rate set by the Federal Reserve in US. This might be relevant to what's going to happen in the near to mid-term and even to long-term future because recently central bank in US, the Fed, has announced that they might gradually continue increasing interest rates and in addition to that they might even try to reduce their balance sheet by letting a lot of the bonds that they hold expire without repurchasing new government bonds. So that all of course adds an upward pressure to the interest rates. Let's have a look at how interest rates have correlated in the past with gold price. We will have a look at this relationship, if there is any again, between the Fed funds rate and gold price starting in about 1970 and moving on to today. I'll break up this time period into three parts. This is the first one, 1970 to 1990, shown on the chart. The upper part of the chart in front of you at the moment is the Fed funds rate, the interest rate set by the Federal Reserve and the lower part of the chart is the gold price. Now what, what do we observe here? In early 1970s, from 1972 to about 1975, interest rates in US increased dramatically from, from about 2% to over 12.5%. At that same time, Gold price has also increased dramatically from just under $50 to just under $200. That's nearly a fourfold increase, which is, which is very impressive. Moving on, late 1970s to early 80, 1980s, again, Fed funds rate increased from just under 5% to just under 20% in the same time period in late 1970s to early 1980s gold price had another rocket launch from around $150 to the peak just over $850. What we haven't mentioned is between these two periods from uh, mid 1970s to late 1970s both interest rates and gold <coughs> moved down together which also happened again from early to mid 1980s generally there is a downward trend in interest rates and in gold price from early to mid 1980s after that there was a considerable increase in interest rates in late 1980s from around 7% to 10% or so where gold actually during that same period gold price actually decreased from around 500 to just below 400 so in late 1980s this move in interest rates upward was actually happening at the same time as the move in uh, gold price downward whereas from 1970s up to that late 1980s there was a positive correlation between the movement in interest rates and gold price okay so this is the correlation between the interest rate and gold price in these two decades 1970s and 1980s moving on to 1990 to mid 2000s in early 1990s interest rates decreased 
from 9% to about 3% and in that same period gold price decreased as well from around 420 to about 340. Not a huge decrease but again we see a positive relationship. It's This is not a proof of a relationship though. We see a positive correlation during that period in early 1990s when um, interest rates go down together with a slight downward movement in gold price. However, in, 19, in 1993 it seems that gold price started growing earlier than the increase in interest rates. So it doesn't look like we might be able to, to say that this increase in interest rates might have contributed to this increase in gold price. The increase in gold price actually happened about a year earlier. However, the increase in interest rates from in 1994 to 1995, which was again rather dramatic from 3 to 6 percent, that's a doubling of interest rates, did not really produce any sizable changes in gold price. However, a couple of years after that, gold price did drop from around 400 from around, from around 400 to 260 or so. That happened in late 1990s when interest rates didn't change that much. In early 2000s when interest rates dropped from over 6%, from 6.5% to about 1 or 2%, at that same period gold price basically bottomed in early 2000s and started going higher. So sometimes, again, we observe a negative relationship between interest rates and gold price. Interest rates drop dramatically and gold price increases from the price level of about 1980 to about 380. So that is a sizable increase. That's nearly 30% increase or so. And um, in mid-2000s, again, something is interesting is happening interest rates increased from 1% to over 5% in mid-2000s from 2004 to 2006. At the same time, gold price increases from around 400 to about to over $700. So from 400 to $700, that is a really considerable increase percentage-wise in gold price and that is happening at the same time as interest rates increase also significantly from 1 to over 5 percent. After that of course there was the global financial crisis. Interest rates decreased from 5 percent to nearly zero. At the time of the crisis of course a lot of the assets are being sold off and what happened to gold price is it dropped from from just above 1000 to just below 700. That is again a considerable drop in the price that is that is a 30 percent decrease however as the initial margin calls have exhausted with the continuation of the crisis in general the flight to quality led to this increase in gold price from around 700 to around 1900 that is of course a very impressive rise in gold price and that happened during the time when basically nothing was happening to interest rates. Continuing from then up to mid 2000s, again nothing has been happening to interest rates and at the same time gold price dropped from around 1900 to around 1000 level. So that is again a very impressive decline at the time when nothing is happening to the interest rates. And uh, since late 2015, interest rates have started their gradual move upwards and we generally observe a gradual move upwards in gold price as well. It is now around 1240 and it was close to 1000 in um, late 2015. So to summarize, 
often there is a positive correlation between interest rates and gold price. Although it is not always the case, in uh, more than half of the incidents, interest rate changes lead to changes in gold price that go in the same direction. So, looking out into the future, if interest rates are to increase gradually, possibly up to 2% levels over the next couple of years, and if central banks around the world, at least if the Fed is to reduce their balance sheet, that might be positive for gold price. And even besides the size of the balance sheet of the Fed, and even besides the Fed funds rate, there are a lot of other considerations that, in my opinion, are positive for gold price. And we're going to talk about those considerations in one of the future videos. Thank you for your attention, and I do appreciate the comments and likes given to this video.